What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. So today we're going to explore a few different things. I'm going to show you guys a dry haircut. This is going to be a shag like haircut. I've also discovered that one of my favorite things to do with hair is to add precision lines, but then also create chaos around those lines. So I'm going to cut a nice straight fringe and then create a ton of texture to build around that. I'm also going to do this haircut in gloves. And the reason I'm going to do that is because uh, I think we all should figure it out, start working on it, start thinking about it. Some people do that already. A lot of people have never done that before, and I'm one of those people. So I wanted to go in and just kind of get a feel for it. And to be honest, uh, after doing this haircut, I didn't mind it at all. I didn't think it felt really any different, uh, especially in a dry haircut, because I added a little bit of Joico oil uh, to the hair first, and I did it with the gloves. So the gloves had a nice little slip to it. Uh, I did wipe them off with a towel, but when I was in the hair, I actually felt like I had a nice slip to the hair and I felt like it kind of helped with dry cutting. So uh, pretty excited to keep exploring it, see what it's like. I want to do a wet cut uh, tomorrow and see what that feels like. But uh, yeah, I didn't really mind the gloves at all. One thing I want to encourage you guys before I jump into this video is go to freesaloneducation.com, click the app icon and go download FSE Now app. It's free. Um, it's got a ton of education and if you're watching this video right now before it came out on YouTube You're probably already a member on there But if you're seeing this video on YouTube, you could have seen it a day before because I'm putting out these videos uh, One day earlier on our app so you guys can see them and be exclusive So go check it out create a profile get involved in the community post your work uh, I'd love to see your face in there. Thank you guys so much. Let's get started with this video. Here we go Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing a dry haircut. So my product of choice is the Joico Blonde Life Brilliant Glow. This is a brightening oil with instant shine and softness added to the hair. So we're going to put that in the hair. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a dry haircut today. So what I want to do is add that shine, add a little bit of slip to the hair. We're going to do some tease cutting, uh, tons of point cutting, and we're going to create a really fun textured uh, shag-like haircut. So uh, to start off this technique, we're going to base it off of a side part. Now, the end result is going to have a fringe, a straight fringe. Uh, but I, the reason I base it off of a side parting is because I'm going to cut that straight fringe first, and then I want that veil of hair to fall over. So notice how it sections across the top of the head. So you'll see. Uh, so to cut this fringe, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my scissor underneath the hair. I'm going to slightly elevate the hair, but not too much. Now, I think where people make the mistake when they're cutting this fringe is that they go in and they elevate the hair too high and then they end up layering it. So you'll notice that my the bone of my comb is just off of the forehead. And then as I cut, I'll cut my line first and then I'll slightly start to drop that comb to the forehead and keep cutting as I drop it. That tends to get me the best uh, solid line that I can get. So as I continue on with the fringe, I really want you guys to see the over direction that happens when you get to that far edge of the fringe. So right where that hairline's about to meet, you're actually over directing that hair quite a bit. So you see the length that happens uh, on each side. You'll get a better view of it on this side, but you'll notice that I'm pulling the hair from further away. So what happens is it drops that weight line a little bit longer, which I like because I can go back in later and clean that up and make it look nice. Um, and that kind of natural arc that happens on the fringe, I tend to, to go towards that anyways. Um, so you'll see, you got that nice arc to it. And then I'll go in at the very end, you'll see me do a little fine tuning uh, at the end of the video. So this is that veil that I was talking about. Now I've got that veil coming over it. Uh, I wouldn't have had that if I did this on a center parting. So I like to have that hair. Now I'm going to go in and do tons of point cutting. I really want this haircut to be uh, not so much. It's going to have structure because I'm pulling everything to the same place, but I'm not cutting a perfect line. Uh, and the reason I'm not cutting a perfect line is because I want to create that movement and texture. So as long as I'm bringing it to the same place, I'm just not making everybody match up. Right, So we're all coming, but we all have our own personality and we're all going to go run after after I cut it. They're all going to run all over the head and have a good time. So this is more of a fun haircut with a ton of texture and movement and not so precise. So we have to jump out of our precision box for a second to get into this cut. So notice everything's being elevated, over directed over, but also notice that I don't take anything from the temple up. So, and the reason for that is because I want to create that disconnection. I want to keep that length uh, from the temple. So that allows me to create that layering 
but keep the length on the side and keep that density on the bottom. So deep point cut, removing the weight, but notice it's a very broken line to create that texture. Uh, and the other thing is my finger angle is pointed straight down at the floor. So notice that as well. I don't go straight up with the layers. I want the layers to be heavier in the back of the head. Changing my finger angle changes where that weight distribution happens. So fingers straight down towards the floor, go in, point cut, cr keep that length in the back, take that length short in the front. And again, I'm going to go all the way down until I get to that temple area, and then I'm going to pause. I'm not going to cut any more after that. So you can see all that texture that builds up around the face. And now the rest of that veil, I'm going to go through and just do a little slide cutting. Uh, so a half close of the scissor, pinching the hair in front of the face and cutting it where I want it to be. This is the cool part about having like uh, different textures mixed and matched. So we have a blunt bang, but then we have this choppy texture that kind of lays over top of it. That to me, if, if I could say I have a signature cut uh, style, that to me is it. I love some precision lines and then chaos happening all over it. So that for me, just, I, I don't know, my eye likes it. So now we're going to move into the back. Vertical sections, pivoting around the head, and really attaching it to that front layering. So that layering that we did, but keeping that same uh, finger angle, so pointed straight at the floor, um, and just cutting, point cutting through. One thing you will notice that I'll do is I'll do a little point cutting, but I'll do some blunt cutting because if I see where there's a part of somebody's hair that um, is a little too choppy, a little too um, uh, like broken up, looks a little too shattered, I'll go through and do a, just a blunt line real quick. And that makes it appear right here is where I'm doing it. Um, it makes it appear a little more clean, but then what I'll do is go in and break up that line with a ton of point cutting. So uh, there's always technique. There's always a reason behind what we do. Uh, behind the chair. That's why you can't teach this in one video uh, because it's all about um, learning and make and just figuring out what works for you. So now the final thing I'm going to do, I wanted a little more of a blunt edge on this fringe just in that area. And then I'm going to let it be kind of chaotic on the sides and throughout the top. So you can see how it's kind of starting to come together now. So really we did the, the dry cut created the strip like the outlook of the the haircut or the overall picture of it and now i'm going through and just doing the fine tuning details you can see point cutting into the edge of that haircut the last little touch i'm going to throw in there is some tease cutting in the side i wanted to add a little bit more layering um if you can imagine that a little more layering in there a little more pieciness to it right around the the cheekbone the the chin line the jaw line uh going through so just tease cutting half open, half close and sliding that blade in. As I slide in, I half close the scissor uh, to create that look. Last little bit, I'm going to do a little bit more slide cutting to piece out the face frame a little bit. We did that in our last video, um, but I just wanted to add a little bit right here, a little separation in that face frame area. And then that's going to finalize our look. So just working through there following that jawline to create that piece. I think that's a real key uh, technique that you can take. You can put, apply that to any haircut that you do. So now we're going to go in with Joyco Dry Spray Wax. This is, uh, it's such an awesome product because it's so versatile. It doesn't have a super strong hold. It just adds a lot of texture. Uh, so I love just kind of lifting the hair up, spraying that in, working the product in, and then getting my hands in it and just kind of messing it up, giving you a little bit of a bedhead feel, seeing those layers come to life. And then what I'll do is brush it, calm it down, and then give it a little nicer style. But I love seeing that kind of come come out uh, when you put that product in. And then I'll take the iron. Uh, the spray wax really helps with um, with defining those pieces. So I'll straighten it a little bit. And then there's our end result, guys. Hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And go download the FSE Now app so you can see tons more videos just like this for free. Uh, thanks for watching.